finally. I could finally feel my mind and body starting to come back together again, and then I was awake. Or was this just another dream? A dream inside a hopeless nightmare. No! This isn't a dream. I could tell because the stench invading my nostrils were too powerful for a dream. What an awful smell. I was in a vast, dark cavern with the barest hint of light seeping in. Trash was piled high all across the area. This must be some kind of underground garbage pit. A heck of a situation to find myself in. But that was just the beginning of my problems. Was I going to be stuck in there till I wasted away and died? No, I can't let that happen. Not after a while my good friend went through to save me. I remember all too well what happened, what had happened. Alter Ego saved me, and he used up to the last little bit of his strength to do it. So I can't give up now, for myself and for my friend. And with that, my pursuit of tr survival began. First up was to start looking for a way to find a way out of here. Okay, first off, lots of trash. What's this rubble right here? Is that an airplane? How something like that would wind up in the school garbage pit? All right, two more areas to. Oh my God, there's a bomb here. That's a rocket and a tank. I better not think too much about what I'm seeing down here. And there seems to be this chair. This is a desk. That's probably the one that fell down with me. By the way, uh, nice job at getting rid of those white lines on that PNG file there. Uh, Spike Chunsoft or NIS America. You did a very good job there. Anyways, uh, here we go. I'm guessing this is the way. Rattle, rattle. It's locked. No matter how many times I pushed or pulled or kicked at it, it didn't bulge. Getting out of here isn't going to be that easy. Well... If I'm not getting out of here anytime soon, I decide to look around for some food. There's plenty of food here, but it's all rotten. But that was pointless too. Next, I search for some water. How can I be sure which liquids I can drink, and which ones are all around bad idea? Again, pointless. I feel like I'm blocked in all my sides. But that's still not enough reason to give up because... Because I'm still alive. As long as I'm alive, I'll never give up. After making that proud declaration, the th next thing I decided to do was go to sleep. My sleep was deep and uninterrupted. That was my only way to preserve what little and strength I had left after not being able to eat or drink. I can't be sure, but I think at least a full day had to be to have passed. And all I did was sleep and sleep. It was all, it was like, I was waiting for some kind of sign to come falling out of the sky. However, what fell from the sky wasn't a sign. Not exactly. That crunch! What the? The strange sound pierced my sight in isolation, jarring me awake. As I watched, the pile of garbage jostled and formed an odd shape. Did something fall down from here, over here there? Something fell from up above. What could it have been? Can I... Like, doesn't look like I can look up. I guess all that's left is the garbage to search around. Alright. Did a giant piece of trash just fall down here? I carefully stench my hand towards whatever it was that had tumbled down with here with me. Just a second. A giant piece of trash? Rude. Before she even emerges from the pile of garbage, I knew who it was. <laughs> this, smells this place smells awful. Kyoko? You look like you're going. You're doing better than I expected. W what are you doing here? Oh. Isn't it obvious? I'm here to help you. I'm glad to hear that, Kyoko. Um, you've got a little bit of garbage in your hair. She gave her. Had a quick pat, shake, get rid of the trash, then faced me again. Hey. First, I have something for you. Go ahead and eat it. We can talk once you're finished. Thank you! I snatched the bread and water that she was holding out for me. 
and then seconds, it was in my mouth and making its way towards my stomach. Phew, that really hit the spot. Now, I've got all my the all the energy I need to keep going. <laughs> so, you still haven't given up then? Of course not! After all, the fact that I can keep going forward is all about all I'm good at. Well, that's not such a bad thing to be good at. Okay, so you said you have the key that unlocks anything, right? Kyoko. But Kyoko, why did you come to rescue me? So... To pay a debt. Or, no, to atone. Atone? You. During the trial, even though you knew I was lying, you didn't say anything. So, you knew that I knew. Indeed. But even though I knew, I did nothing to help you. I... I... Abandoned you. You could probably say that for the other bad ending, though. Don't say that! You didn't abandon me! No, that's exactly what I did. I abandoned you in order to save my own life. You were trying to save me, and I couldn't bring myself to do the same for you. However... But listen, not that I'm trying to make excuses, but... There was a reason I had to survive, no matter the cost. What did you have to survive? It's true. I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. The reason I have to survive. In other words. Is so that I can do what I came to this school to do. What? I made my mind to come to Hope's Peak Academy for one very important reason. So, you have some reason to come to Hope's Peak Academy? Indeed. That's right. At least, I did once. Once? I... Until recently, I'd forgotten what it was. You forgot? But that's... I had no memory of what my purpose was. <gasps> then, is it really true? You lost your memory? Makoto. Do you remember Makoto? Do you remember the first thing that happened to each of us as soon as we arrived at this school? The first thing? You're talking about... When we fainted, right? I fainted, and when I woke up, I was trapped here. That's right. I fainted too, and when I was woke, and when I woke up, I noticed a strange feeling of separation within myself, a disconnect. It would seem. Thinking back on it now, at that point, my memory was gone. At that time, I'd forgotten. I couldn't remember why I'd come to the school, and I couldn't remember what my ultimate ability was. But. What would make you forget all that? Hey. Strange, isn't it? It's hard to imagine it happened by chance. It seems much too convenient. Are you saying you think you lost your memory because... Indeed. I don't think. I'm positive it was the work of the Mastermind. They stole my memory. But why would they want to do that? There's only one reason I came up with. I can come up with it. Because of my purpose and my ability. Somehow, they would interfere with the Mastermind's plan. So the Mastermind just stole them from you? However... And it could also mean... Somehow my memories may have been connected to the mystery of the school and the Mastermind. Which is why I have to get them back. That's why I've been investigating things by myself this whole time. But if what you're saying is true, why didn't you ask the rest of us to help you? Why is that? If I did that, and we all worked as one, the Mastermind would have noticed right away. Plus, there's always the chance that the Mastermind is actually one of us. What? Correct. Well, don't make too big of a deal of it. It's just a possibility. But since it is a possibility, we can't ignore it, right? The Mastermind, one of us. If she believed that, then of course she couldn't trust anyone around her. In which case, it only makes sense that she would look into her missing memory by herself. However... That being said, there was a limit to what I could do by myself, which is why I asked you to help me. But why me? <laughs> because among everyone, you were least likely to be the mastermind. That was my just intuition, but... I, I see. Your intu intuition was right, though. There's no way an ordinary kid like me could have been the mastermind. I understand. I should understand everything. My goal isn't to get out of here. It's to stay here. Yeah. It's just like that dream I had before, but 
Why did it just happen? Listen. Are you okay? Uh, uh, yeah, it's nothing. It is nothing, right? Hey. Even now, I still trust you, you know? It's just, I'm not used to relying on others. Correct. I know I never asked you for help this the right way, so I understand if you're not convinced. Honestly, I was convinced. I think that's just her personally. Personality. Okay. Is there any other information you're willing to? You had a reason for doing all this for your own blah blah blah. So I was finally okay. My ability, my purpose. Your ability. Hi. My ability, what everyone should have known me for. I'm the ultimate detective. The ultimate detective? Correct. And the reason I came to Hope Speak Academy, there was someone I had to find here in this school. You had to find someone? Who? So. Well, it was the headmaster of Hope Speak Academy. The headmaster? Why did you want to find the headmaster? Because he's my father. Dun dun dun! What? In other words, I was separated from him as a child. As it turns out, he became the headmaster of Hope's Peak. Kyoko's dad? Is Hope's Peak's headmaster? Then that explains when Alter Ego told us how he thought the headmaster was involved. I. I'll find a way. Huh? Huh? I. No matter what it takes, I will find the headmaster. No matter what? No matter the cost. So, um... Kyoko, what's going on? I... <sighs> My memory hadn't come back at that point, but when he said that, I felt str Ooh, excuse me. I felt strange. It makes perfect sense now, of course, since my whole purpose for coming here was to find him. That makes sense. However... But listen, Makoto. I wanted to make this perfectly clear, so there's no misunderstanding. I said the headmaster wasn't the mastermind, but I didn't say that to protect him. I only said what I felt based on what I'd seen when I snuck into the headmaster's room. Then, what did you see in there? So... The room had been ransacked. The shelves were a mess. The desk, the desk drawers dumped on the floor. The only conclusion is that someone who didn't know where anything had, was had been in there. You mean... The mastermind, right? It's true. That was my assumption, yes. And to confirm my suspicion, I decided to investigate the second floor of the dorm using the key I found. But why there? Because I also found this is the headmaster's room. This is some kind of map? Indeed. It's a layout of the entirety of Hope's Peak Academy. I found it in the headmaster's room along with Mur Makuro's profile and that key. The map showed that the second floor was home to a number of rooms meant for the faculty use. Some of the staff must have had stayed overnight from time to time. And I figured the headmaster would have had some kind of private room there. I assumed that if that were true, that room would likely hold more clues, so I went to check. Correct. And that's when I finally remembered. I remembered that my purpose was to find the owner of that room. So, he went there to see if the headmaster really did have a private room there. However... But, once I got there, I noticed the second floor of the dorms didn't have ca any cameras or monitors. So, what was it like? That part of the school, I mean. It's hard to describe. All I can say is... I... The moment I saw it, I realized. Whatever's going on in this school is more horrific than we ever imagined. <laughs> What do you mean? So... I can't explain it. You need to see it for yourself, and I'm sure you'll get your chances soon enough. Oh boy. I'm kind of really anxious about this, but... Let's However. see this out. Of course, okay. Well, I had no idea about what's going on in the rest of the building. It has nothing to do with Makuru Ikusaba, doesn't it? However. Just to be perfectly clear, I didn't kill her. And I know it wasn't you either. I know you're right, but that just means... Everyone but you and me had an alibi. So then, who did kill her? Anyway. What I can say for sure is that the mastermind is directly involved. To begin with, the point of the class trial of Mercuro Ikusaba was to get me killed. Get you killed? Indeed. I stole that key and disappeared. 
and in retaliation, they wanted to draw me out and eliminate me. Correct. That was the that was the point of the class trial. It was. The mastermind knew they couldn't interfere directly. You mean because of the school regulations? That's right. Exactly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. I see. In other words, the mastermind is adamant about following the rules, and with the rule in place, they couldn't step in. Since they couldn't kill me themselves, they tried to use a class trial to do it. The mastermind couldn't step in because of the rules? That makes it sound like the mastermind themselves is somehow bound by the school's regulations. Hey. There's one other thing I'd like to point out about the murder of Mercuro, Mercuro Ikusaba. What's that? There was a point where Mercuro may not have become the victim. It could have been you, Makoto. I could have become the victim? Indeed. You know what I'm talking about, right? What do you mean? Or do you mean... During that night? I... I can hear them, you know. The footsteps of the god of death. What? I can hear the gods of death as he moves. Th that ability naturally draws me into cases just like this. Anyway... Which is exactly what happened with you. I was in the dorms, and I had a sudden sense of dread. I looked down to the stairwell, and I saw a white shadow cross the corridor. I gave chase away. As I followed, I saw the shadow go into your room. Correct. I ran into your room, and I saw what was happening. I intervened immediately, of course. However... That wasn't the end of things, of course. I stopped them, but that led to... Whoever the masked assailant was, they ended up dead. Correct. And their murder was disguised, and the dojo key wound up in my room. And it all has to be the work of the mastermind in an attempt to use the class trial to eliminate me. So all this would mean that whoever killed Makuro is also the mastermind, right? Indeed. I don't have conclusive evidence, but that's what I think. But that's really bad if true. It means that the mastermind can kill whoever they want if they feel like it. Wait, but that doesn't that create another contradiction? The mastermind wanted to use the class trial to try and kill you because they couldn't intervene, right? Correct. You're right. That is a contradiction. And it's not just you, Makuro. It's not just Makuro. They needed a class trial to kill me, but seemed ready to kill you in my room. Everything they did is a contradiction. So, what does it all mean? In other words... It means that the mastermind is the one who has been cornered. Huh? Makoto. Just a little more. A little more, and I shall be able to figure out the mastermind's true identity. The identity of the other ultimate despair. The other ultimate despair? There's no doubt that Makuro was the ultimate despair, and that she's dead. But I don't think the ultimate despair is just one person. Huh? Oh, hold on, I'll be right back. Someone's at the door. It's not? Indeed. If you think about it, the ultimate despair seems too implicate whoever caused that event. You're talking about... What happened a year ago? The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history? The tragedy, whoever's responsible for that. They're the ultimate despair? That despicable group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. Then they're... Indeed. Make no mistake. They're the root of all the evil that has forced us to go through this. That is the ultimate despair. And that is our real enemy. Holy shit. <sighs> and we will continue this further. And the next recording of Danganronpa. Holy shit. Received the Dream Island Rocket present. Woo. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Five alive. Okay. Whew. So. 
that was the sec I believe the second to last chapter of Danganronpa. This should be fun figuring out what's going to happen next. So, without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the future of my Let's Play of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Oh man, it's going to be quite the ride in the next chapter. So stay tuned. And, wait, what was I saying? Alright, this is Base Tinger signing out. Oh, I gotta work on my ending line deliveries, huh? Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next part.